I went to a tiny college in a small town. The college is pretty isolated from the town itself. It's also surrounded with trails and small patches of forests. This happened when I was a first year in college. My cousin, who was a year younger than me, decided to come visit me. She was interested in my school and wanted to come tour and do an overnight stay. She came during my finals week, which wasn't ideal, but it fit her schedule. She got a tour of my school and I showed her some of my favorite spots on campus. I told her that since it was final season, I had to get some studying done. I usually only study in the library because I get distracted very easily, so I told her I was going to the library. My cousin didn't want to stay with my roommate, and she had homework to do as well, so we packed our bags and headed for the library. I felt bad for her, so I bought a bunch of snacks and drinks from the campus convenience store, and we went to the library. When we got to the library, my favorite study spots were occupied. If you're a college student, you know that there's always that one spot you like to study in. Luckily, our library is huge. We found a study space on the top floor of the library. It was around 11 p.m., so even with the big windows, it was pretty dim. The entire section of our area was empty except for the two of us. I usually studied on the main floor where there were a lot more people whenever I studied late in the libraries because I'm a very paranoid person, but I wasn't scared because my cousin was with me. I sat at the table, and she sat on the couch. At first we were loud and chatty, so we didn't feel the ominous atmosphere, but we eventually quieted down and focused on our work. I could hear noises, but it wasn't like the library was completely empty, so I didn't think much of it. Around 1 a.m., my cousin had finished all the snacks and drinks I bought her and needed to use the bathroom. It was straight down the long hallway, but she wanted me to go with her. It wasn't weird to me because girls always go to the bathroom together. So we went. Most parts of the library have sensor lights, so if an area doesn't detect movement for about 30 minutes, it turns off. However, these lights are very sensitive in my experience. As long as I fidgeted in my seat, the sensor would detect me and not turn off. My cousin and I were being obnoxious in the bathroom because she needed to poop, and I was making fun of her. After being poop shy for five minutes, she gave up, and we headed out. All the lights were turned off. We were the only ones left on the floor because the lights in the other sections turned off except for ours. When we walked to the bathroom, we triggered all the lights. But when we came out, the only lights on were the hallway lights. I felt a shiver down my spine. Do they turn off the lights at 1 a.m.? She asked. I don't know. I've only been on the main floor. I've studied until the library closed before, and this never happened. I answered. Well, when does the library close? She asked. 3 a.m., I responded. But I'm not sure. Maybe they turn off the lights around 1 a.m. on the other floors since it's not the main floor. I tried to explain. However, I've never studied on this floor to confirm that theory. My cousin just nodded, and we proceeded to our study spot. Luckily, the lights turned back on as we walked and triggered them. I kept studying, and my cousin started to pack up. Let me know when you're ready. I'm done studying, she said. She played on her phone while I kept studying. We sat in silence for about 40 minutes until we heard a library cart being pushed around. I shot a look at my cousin. I looked around and our lights were the only ones on. Okay, there has to be something wrong with these lights. I thought to myself. I tried to continue studying. The cart was being pushed closer and closer to us. I picked up my laptop and sat next to her. As soon as I did, the cart stopped. Did whatever it was see me? Suddenly the big double doors to enter the library creaked open. These double doors led to the main stairs that would be taken down to the main floor. Did whatever it was leave? I didn't know whether to feel relieved or scared. I quietly packed up my stuff. Let's go, I whispered. My cousin and I walked toward the door. We were about 20 feet away from the door when we saw the door being slowly pushed open. I looked at my cousin, and she pulled me behind a bookshelf. The door opened a fourth of the way and quickly slammed shut. 
I swear I could feel my spirit leave my body at that moment, and I couldn't even scream. My cousin was scared too, but she's a rising shaman, so it's safe to assume she wasn't as terrified as I was. I think whatever was there could sense how scared I was and began messing with us. The door started opening and closing. It wasn't like in the scary movies where it dramatically opened and closed. The doors have big horizontal push bars, and you have to push those bars in order to get out. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that bar was being pushed, and the door would open ever so slightly and close again. Then we heard footsteps slowly walking up and down the main aisle. Up and down. Stop. Up and down. And stop again. Then we heard running around the entire floor. It sounded like whatever they were, were taunting us, running up and down the aisles. I started to tear up because I was so scared. This continued for about five minutes. At this point, I was pissed off. It was 2 a.m., I was just scared shitless, and I was tired. My cousin took out a red triangle pouch and handed it to me. She left our hiding spot and walked straight toward the door leaving me behind. As soon as she walked, I followed her and noticed the door immediately stopped moving. She pushed the door, and we walked out. I've never walked down the stairs that fast in my entire life. As we were walking to my dorm, my cousin pulled my arm and said, Let's not take that way. Why? It's shorter. I just want to go to bed, I said. Trust me, she said. I trusted her. So we walked a different route. When we got to my room, we didn't even shower. We want to go brush our teeth together and sleep. Before we slept, my cousin told me to hang the red triangle pouch on my door handle. That night, I had a dream about a girl. She was a white girl dressed in a white nightgown. She looked humanly with pale skin. She didn't look scary, but she felt scary. In my dream she was knocking on my door, but I didn't recognize her, so I didn't let her in. I know you're in there. Open the door. I need your help, she whispered. I sat on my bed, and the knocking continued. Go away, I yelled. I laid on my bed and turned my head toward the window and saw a horrible image of the girl. Her face was swollen, gray, burned, and bloody. Her tongue stuck out, and her hair was raggedy. She was furious, breathing heavily. She looked through my window and launched right toward me. That's when I woke in a cold sweat. I started to cry. It was already 9 a.m., and my roommate was gone. She worked at 8 a.m. on Saturdays. Luckily, my cousin was sleeping on the floor and woke up to the sound of my scream. I explained my dream to her. She told me about the incident that we encountered the night before. Your school is haunted as fuck, she said. Well, no shit. She told me that I had a weak spirit. I get scared easily, which makes me an easy target, but I was especially vulnerable because my spirit was extra weak. It was probably due to the stress of college and finals and the lack of eating and sleeping. She told me that she felt like something was off when we found our study spot, but she thought maybe it was a Friday and a lot of people didn't want to study that night. When she asked to go to the bathroom, she didn't want to leave me alone. That's why she told me to go with. That was very nice of her. Then she asked me something that spooked me even more. Do you guys store cadavers here? Yes. Not frequently, but I think they got new cadavers for finals. For those who don't know, cadavers are dead bodies that are donated for medical practices. We have a lot of pre-med students who work with cadavers. Remember when I told you to take another route last night? Well, I wanted to avoid the building that stored them. I could feel them there. Don't walk there anymore. It was the building right next to the library. I didn't even know and have walked past that building so many nights. I don't think the dream was for you. She asked for help. I know they know I know they're there. I think she was trying to get to me, but I was protected. So she came to you. She couldn't get through the door because of the pouch. That's why she went to your window. I'm gonna need a pouch for my window too, was all I could say to her. She also told me she felt other ghostly presences around me because I was so weak. They wanted to weaken my spirit and posses me. Good thing I didn't take off my red strings. 
I was curious about the encounter in the library, so I searched it up. There was a whole thread of students talking about their experience in the library, specifically on that floor. No wonder nobody was studying up there. I don't know exactly what happened to cause the paranormal activity, but everyone talked about the library cart noise. Apparently a librarian had a heart attack while on the job, and her ghost still haunts the library. Needless to say, I transferred out of there after my first year because I just couldn't handle walking around campus at night after that.